Morning guys, it is zip fizz time. I've been up working, it's time to exercise. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I have some time to figure it out because I'm gonna shake it, then I'm gonna drink it, and then I'm gonna move it, okay? Today we are having, oh my God, berry. Oh, finally, thank you. Thank you, universe. It's about time. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, berry is my number one favorite flavor of zip fizz. My shipment that I ordered a couple days ago should get here sometime soon. Like, I am getting low. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Always with the body roll. Always with the body roll. To taking it one day at a time. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God. This is my favorite flavor. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, guys, I just tried a new class today. It was called Body Attack. It's still Les Mills. Les Mills Body Attack. It was amazing. It was just like high intensity cardio training, running, jump lunges. It reminded me a lot of Insanity uh, from Beachbody, and that was awesome. Like, now I've got like a hundred body attack videos to go through. Like Les Mills on demand is the gift that keeps on giving. Woo! That was amazing. Milton. Milton, sit. Don't sit on Maddie. Yeah, she's kind of in the way. She's in the way, bub. Maddie girl, what are you doing? Maddie girl. Sit, bubby. Nope. No. Sit. Go ahead. Sit on her. It's okay. It's okay, Milton, sit. Madeline, move. Your brother's trying to sit. Good boy, you found a place to sit, Bobby. You found a place to sit. Okay, and you're back up, and you're back up. Hey guys, I figure now would be as good a time as any to give you a tour of the salon since nobody's here and this is probably the cleanest and calmest it's gonna be all day. All right, let's go inside. Boom, Prime Beauty Studio. You guys, I mean, won't even believe how long it took for us to come up with that name. And it's just so simple, it's so basic. When you come in, this is our waiting area. This is where people wait. This wallpaper, you guys, is like something we're most proud of. <laughs> When we first opened, you know, we were on a super tight budget, so we went to like this luxury wallpaper store, and this was like 75% off, and even at 75% off, we still only had enough to do one of the walls. But you know, hey, accent wall. Okay, and as we walk through here, this is our shampoo area, and I just turned all these lights on for you guys. Like normally when I come in, I keep all the lights off. This is our retail area. Oh look, this is us on the day that we opened the salon. Oh my God, even just look at me. Why well, wanna focus on me? Either way, just look at how chubby my face was. May 15th, 2017. All right, so as we come down the hall, the first room on the right with a little curtain in it is Amber's room. This is where Amber does all her lashes and brow services. These are our two restrooms. Continuing down the hall. There's another room here where we do lashes. And over on the other side, this is one of our waxing rooms. Oh look, yes, our service provider Desiree has decorated it with her own ambiance. This is waxing. This is another wax room. This is a lot more sparse, but Camille's working on it. Oh, hey girl. <laughs> and then if we come across the hall here, this is our wig room. So, well, they call it the color room, I guess. I call it the wig room because look, it's so many wigs. So pretty much all of our hairdressers are also like expert wig makers. So these are all wigs or units as they call them. These are all units that they have made or are in the process of making. You'll see we have lots of dryers and doll heads. <laughs> I guess mannequin heads if you wanna call them. And then if you come into this room, this is our salon. So we have three chairs on this side and we have three chairs on this side. 
All right, and this arch right here, this was custom made when we were designing this space. Our family friend, Drawwall Jimmy, built this arch with his bare hands. It was really neat. This is our dryer area. We have four dryers. Oh, look, another mannequin head. See, you can see all the way from the front to the back of the entire salon. More dryers. And then this is like Courtney's little boutique. If you guys know anything about Courtney, if you've seen her on the lives, she's one of the co-owners of the salon, but she's also super stylish. So she goes through clothes so quickly that like, she just brings them in here to sell. So, hey, business inside of business. All right, and over to the left, we have this amazing facial room. So this is where, oh my God, it smells so good in here. <laughs> this is where facials and other aesthetic services are performed. And then finally, if you come to the right, this is the employee area. So this is where, you know, me and Amber do all of our lives and this is where I spend most of my time. Okay, and that's it. That's our humble little salon. If you're ever in Louisville, Kentucky and need any of your hair and or aesthetic needs taken care of, come visit us. You can find us online at www.primebeautyky.com. Love mm. that blue on you. Thank you. And, oh, look. I mean, I, like, Mine I are was, still downstairs in the laundry room. No, I, I folded all of them. I have so many. Like, I have so <laughs> many shirts. I have so many, like, I mean, do you guys have your shirts? If not... Oh my God, what is Jen, you doing? Jen has her shirt. Let me go get the picture. She posted on Instagram. Oh my I God, can't. your merch is going viral. Oh my God. Hey guys, hey Sing It. I wish I knew your real name, but I'm okay with Sing It. Shell. Shell, hey Shell, OMG, Amberlicious. Okay, I'm loving that, Tanya. Tanya, Tanya. Either way, hey Leah. See, I feel like it's the country and us not knowing whether to pronounce that Tanya or Tanya. That Tanya, that's, is that country? Yeah, Tanya. 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 Yeah. We are from Kentucky. The thing is she made the mistake of getting up and so I've just gotten so comfortable in the seat. I mean, guys, oh my God. guys. Jen, would you take a look at this? I mean, with her, like literally shaker bottle with the zip is in it, girl. I mean. The original wacko. The one that came up with the name wacko. <laughs> OMG, you guys, like business owner duties. Like a lady from the state board popped up for a surprise salon inspection today. Like, what? Oh my gosh. It's super important. Like this just made me realize like, yeah, this might be our salon, but this is where like seven people work. Woo. I mean, it hit me today, like real business owner stuff. So, Dyron, Rachel, I just want to let you know, I just saw your orders and it's just like, you guys, I cannot. Thank you so much for ordering like Dyron you about to be you about to be wax swagged out and I appreciate you so much for that <laughs> and the keto is dope in the sea foam with the white that's gonna be a good look y'all gotta take pictures when y'all start receiving this stuff in the mail post this stuff on Instagram or send me a picture of it at least like this just warms my entire heart you know what I'm saying like ah oh, thank you so much and everybody don't worry t-shirts hoodies that's all coming this weekend now that I have a laptop I can sit on my couch and do that stuff so I'm gonna be putting more stuff on the site like your support just means so much to me I can't even now I gotta get back to work okay so one of the perks at working at a beauty salon is uh getting your hair done whenever you uh, need to well I mean don't get me wrong this was my regular uh, appointment we skipped a week but now I am back on schedule and look at those shaved sides yes any hairdresser worth their salt would tell you that I needed to wrap this hairstyle tonight, but like, I'm too lazy. Let's just call it that, you know? I do have a satin pillowcase that I sleep on, but like, I do not wrap my hair. Comment down below, do you take care of your hair the way that your hairdresser advises you to? Like, I can't be held responsible. I will do the best I can, but that's just too much maintenance if you ask me. Okay, it's time to go. Overall, today was a good day. It was kind of stressful, but we made it out okay. Tomorrow is BJ's Thursday with my best friend Richard, and I am so excited. Bye.